Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, connectors, uh, uh, Tableau connectors to connect to different databases. We already covered MySQL and as part of this video, I will be covering uh, to connect to Cloudera Hadoop. So, also I thought of covering Spark SQL, but uh, Sparks, uh, connecting uh, uh, to Cloudera Hadoop using uh, Spark SQL connector is not supported. So, it is the limitation from Cloudera. Cloudera does not let you to connect to the Spark running on Cloudera Quick Start VM through Spark SQL. Only way to connect to Cloudera uh, is by using the Cloudera Hadoop connector. Okay, and you can click on this, and uh, you see that um, you can actually connect through Hive Server, and uh, you can give the IP address or alias for the host, and then click on OK. As there are no connectors, it fails and it, it gives you this link. We can click on this link and you can see that there are two connectors for Cloudera Hive and Impala. So both of them uses the same package. Uh, you can actually, not the same package but the same URL. You can click on this link to download uh, both Cloudera Hive as well as Impala connectors. So we can search for connectors and here you can see. Okay, this is the one we have. We have to download the ODBC JDBC driver. Okay, and if you click here, you need to download ODBC driver for the Tableau to connect to Cloudera Hadoop. So here we have to download Hive ODBC driver and also Impala ODBC driver. Okay, and. Uh, we will download the latest version operating system mac download now and it will prompt you for the details you can also click on sign in and uh, sign in to cloudera cloudera web um, uh, cloudera but at this time, I don't have the Cloudera account, so I will just fill up the page and download the JAR file. Let me close this and uh, open it again. If you have, if you already have Cloudera account, it's better to sign in and download directly rather than filling the form every time. So here, I will download the latest version and. Uh, we are using Mac, select a version Mac and then download now, fill the form, IT Varsity. Training at ITVarsity.com, IT Varsity LLC, country United States. Big data and architecture, individual contributor, and the phone number. Hit continue. I accept the terms and click on submit. Choose save file and click on OK. It will start the download. Similarly, I would like to download the Impala ODBC also. So, in my case, it's Mac. Download now and you, again you have to fill the form United States big data architecture uh, individual contributor and the phone number and click continue I accept the terms and click on submit and save file click on ok ok meanwhile the other one is still being downloaded once it is downloaded i will show you how to install so now the download of cloudera hive odbc is done uh, now let us install 
just double click on this one click on continue continue agree install enter the mac password and also let us see whether the other one is also downloaded it is also almost done let me install the impala drivers also continue continue agree install click on close and close this window and also before actually starting tableau uh, we have to restart click on cancel close it while closing it we also it is also better to go back here and go to the instructions so there are no uh, differences in the instructions it's the same thing now we will uh, launch the tableau we can go here click on applications tableau double click click on continue trial and more servers cloudera hadoop hi server quick start dot cloudera and you have hive server 2 and impala if you want to connect to hive server 2 you can use hive server 2 here and click on okay okay uh, it was not connecting the reason is uh, here i have uh, created alias for quickstart.cloudera for the ip address 192.168.145.196 but on the vm the ip address is changed to 197 for that reason it was not started so instead of using alias i will give the ip address directly here so 192.148 sorry 168.145.197 and uh, click on ok and i hope th this time it will connect to the hive server and uh, here you have to choose hive server 2 and in, in place of authentication you have to choose either username or username and password so when you give username you can give any username uh, I, I think this is just a placeholder but it expects that i am giving username as hive and then clicking on ok and now you can see that it has connected to cloudera hadoop and as of now there are no schemas that's why it is not showing up anything uh, it is not showing uh, anything over here similarly if you want to connect to impala after downloading the connectors you can go to more servers click on cloudera hadoop give the ip address 192.168.145.197 choose impala here and uh, username choose impala as username and click on ok and now it has connected to impala so using uh, the hive and impala odbc drivers we can use tableau to connect to hadoop cluster so again i am repeating um, you cannot connect to cloudera hadoop using spark sql connector it is not supported by, uh, by cloudera hence we uh, we are not setting up uh, uh, we are not setting up uh, a spark sql here so there is a little bit of change in the flow so in future where, whenever i demonstrate uh, connectivity bit, uh, uh, from Tableau to Cloudera Hadoop instead of using Spark based connectors, uh, I will use uh, uh, Impala uh, to to build the reports on uh, uh, using Tableau connecting to the Hadoop cluster. 
okay that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further uh, about uh, 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 about big data or hadoop please join my linkedin group called it university hyphen big data if you are watching these videos on udemy please provide the feedback on udemy as well and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye